The perfect area rug makes a stylish statement and helps tie a room together. In this video, we'll review how to select a rug for your living room, dining room, kids' room, and kitchen, and the elements to consider before narrowing your search. When choosing a rug, the three big things to consider are size, color and pattern, and material. When thinking about size, consider if you want the furniture to rest on the rug, off the rug, or half on, half off. All three are acceptable choices. It really boils down to personal preference and how much space you have in the room. When thinking about color and pattern, think about if the rug should serve as a bold statement or subtly blend in. When choosing material, consider what room the rug is going in and how much traffic it gets. For a living room, wool rugs are highly durable, yet also plush and cozy so they are perfect if you want to spread out on the floor and get comfortable. In this setting, the room is large enough for an 8x10 rug, and the furniture sits on top of the rug. If your room is monochromatic, don't be afraid to go bold with the rug. A bright area rug with a large pattern is the perfect way to inject some personality into an otherwise muted color scheme. For a subtler wool rug, consider one with just texture, or a subtle print. For a dining room, consider a natural fiber, such as jute, sisal, or seagrass. The color of natural fiber perfectly complements a wood floor and makes a room feel larger. Be sure to measure your dining area. The rug should be large enough so that all the furniture fits on it. You don't want chairs if they are half on, half off. Make sure you have an extra two feet beyond your table to avoid the chairs sliding off the rug when they're pulled out. Other natural fiber rug options include sisal, seagrass, or a mix of natural fiber with cotton and pattern. For a kid's room or playroom, synthetic rugs are a good way to go. They mimic the look of higher quality rugs at a much lower price, so they can be easily replaced after wear and tear. Plus, they're hypoallergenic and easy to spot clean. In a kid's room, you can push the envelope on design and do something fun and whimsical, like a colorful pattern or bold print. If you need a rug for your kitchen, Washable cotton can handle moisture, and best of all, you can pick it up and toss it in the wash when it gets dirty. Opt for a dark color and busy print that will hide crumbs when they drop on the floor. Cotton rugs are also good for homes with pets, where the ability to wash a rug can be key. Look for non-slip backing. This is also a great feature for a kitchen rug. Area rugs are a simple way to add personality to any room. Just remember to measure for size, think about color and pattern, and concentrate on material. In this video, we'll cover how to determine what rug size is right for you based on your room's measurements. From your living room, dining room, and bedroom. First, think about the rug size in relation to your furniture. In a standard living room, you have three options for furniture placement. All furniture legs on the rug, two legs on, no legs on. There's really no rule when it comes to this and is all a matter of personal taste. A 9x12 rug will provide enough room for all of your furniture to be completely on the rug, with plenty of space left to move around the grouping so it doesn't feel cramped. An 8x10 rug will allow you the ability to place just the front legs of the furniture on the rug and keep the back legs off the rug. In a smaller space, a 5x7 rug placed just under the coffee table with the furniture pulled up next to it is another way to go and creates a cozy conversation area. When it comes to dining rooms, there's only one clear choice. You need a rug big enough for your table and chairs to rest entirely on the rug. So whether your table is rectangular or round, make sure you have an extra two feet beyond your table all the way around to avoid the chairs sliding off the rug when they're pulled out. In the bedroom, if you have a queen-sized bed, it's common for an 8x10 rug to be placed perpendicular to the bed, stopping just before your bedside tables. This will give you plenty of plush rug to step on when you get up in the morning. If you have a king-sized bed, upgrade to a 9x12. If your bedroom does not allow for a large rug, 3x5 runners are a great alternative. Try them placed lengthwise in front of your bedside tables. Rugs are definitely an investment, so before you purchase, make sure you measure your space. 
Decide if you want your furniture on or off the rug. And consider small rugs as accents if space is an issue. So you would think that this wouldn't be a big issue, but it actually is, even amongst designers that are my peers, which is how to place your furniture on an area rug. I know it sounds really mundane, but it's actually, you know, there are some tricks to it. You want to make sure that your rug is either one or two ways, actually one of three ways to be honest with you. It can either go everything is on the rug. So the rug actually goes a couple of inches past the furniture. Make sure that you have a clear walkway, that your rug is not half in your walkway so that people aren't tripping on it as a hazard. Another way, which is my favorite, is that you have the front two legs of your furniture pieces on the rug. So if you have it as an area rug, you have your sofa front two legs on, maybe you have a chair caddy corner with its front two legs on, and your coffee table is completely on the area rug. That way, you have a nice perimeter of flooring around the rug. It makes it feel like the furniture is a part of the room, it's not held hostage against the walls and it really feels warm and inviting. Uh, the third way is not my favorite, but it is done, is that the area rug is in front of the furniture pieces. Uh, it's not under the furniture, it's not behind the furniture, it literally sits under the coffee table for the most part, and then it goes right up to the furniture pieces. This is not my favorite, but like I said, it is done and it is an option. The best one I really feel is when you have two feet on and two feet off. For more details, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching the video. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.